Hey guys, and welcome back to another Project Pokemon PV battle. Today we're playing against Unknown until 2006. Um, you see in a second that he's actually using pretty much my whole team, um, except he's using a Charizard Mega Charizard Y, and I'm using a Mega Charizard X. So I'm um, using a Klefki Absolute Troll, uh, Breloom Absolute Troll, Pangoro really good, um, Cloyster Meta Bullshit. Um, I do use um, Garchomp, but I'm only using it for a week, right guys? I don't really like these meta. But I thought, eh, let's just try out the Garchomp. I mean, like, I did used to like it a lot. It used to be my favorite Dragon type, in fact. Anyways, um, he's gonna use a uh, Azumaru, which is absolute god here, and um, a uh, Charizard um, Y, which is really good. One of the strongest special attacking Pokemon in Pokemon in general. So I was just typing random bullshit and, um, um, I, I, I was I had um I completely forgotten that I was actually recording this battle, but I'm just gonna upload it anyway because you am I right? Um, so uh, I went to the Mega Sceptile because I was thinking, well, at this point I really didn't know whether, whether it was the Charizard X or the Y, so I was like, hmm, if he goes in the Mega Charizard X, probably I don't think that we can take him out with one Dragon Pulse, so uh, we could be able to take that out because um, obviously the vast vast majority of Project, the, po the Project Pokemon community um, Charizard, uh, Mega Charizard users are Mega Charizard X users and so I decided to um, go with the 50 PC and um, go into Mega Sceptile um, also he went to um, Pangoro could just focus plus that uh, Cloyster, Giga Drain because um, Cloyster is like 40-ish uh, um, special defense based that anyway we're gonna go for the Dragon Pulse and take the Breloom out of the game. Uh, I think that he went for Spore or something like that. Um, Cause yeah, Breloom's um, um, Breloom is um, his main throw is it's um, is Spore. Um, so yeah, if you went to Azumar, I would just Giga Drain there as well, or maybe even Leaf Storm. Cause I think that Azumar has some um, might be able to hang a Giga Drain for even for a Mega Stack. Oh, I'm not too sure, but yeah. I was thinking, um, anyway, the scumbag is gonna use our uh, Mega Charizard Y and um, so, um, I was like, oh shit, this is gonna like, um, it's not gonna do that much, um, so, even with Stab, it didn't really, uh, get it past half, and he's gonna go for overhead, he's gonna get the crit, and he's gonna take us out of this match, um, I said that he was taking us out with the, without the crit anyway, um, it's not super effective, but, um, overhead does get stabbed from Mega Charizard Y, and, um, it, uh, it's a very high base power move and um, it's from Mega Charizard Y, right? So, Mega Charizard Y is like, has like, I think it's in the top 5 of um, higher special attacking Pokemon in the whole game. Uh, I, I think so. Um, so, we're gonna go to the Garchomp and I was like, well, this thing is probably not gonna want to stay into a rock slide, so I'm gonna go for Sword Stance and be a smart ass. Scumbag goes in the Cloister, I was like, oh shit, I really have to swap out now. I can't take any chances, even if it's the. Um, even if he's going for the Shell Smash. Um, he did say he was using, running different sets, so... I went to 50-50 and um, just um, tried to predict that he um, didn't have Shell Smash or something like that. So, um, I think I went for um, the Azumaru here. I think so, because um, I could just knock off um, the Cloyster. Cloyster really can't one-shot us, even with the Spike Cannon or the Rock Blast, uh, if he has it. Anyway, he's gonna go for the Isaac Crash. I was like, wait, what? Uh, I, well, at the very least, I think that Isaac Spear would do more damage. So I believe that Isaac Crash is like. Um, and they, I think I checked it right here, right? Um, I believe that Isaac Spear does like 25 damage um, every single hit. So with the Cloyster Skilling, it's gonna do like um, 125 um, damage every single turn. So. And I think that um, Isaac Crash actually has a uh, 85 base power, so he, he predicted the knockoff and go, went to Pangoro and um, with the 4 times tank, um, he actually did decent damage for 4 times um, resistant um, attack and um, it was a tank from a Pangoro. I mean, uh, it was a HP set, so he actually did quite a lot, I guess. And anyway, it looks like he does have any items. I just went for a player of course um, with that 4 times super effective damage. He's definitely gonna take the uh, Pangor out. So he went for the hammer, um, completely oblivious, doesn't know that we're a fairy type. We're gonna go to, um, with the Pangoros greatest weakness and just take it out of the game. So yeah, that's a pretty good start right here. 
Um, I mean, we're actually halfway through the battle, what am I saying? Um, right. So I was like, hmm, this is actually a pretty good position. He can't actually do that much to us. Um, and then he went to the Clefty, I was like, well, this thing, um, this thing might go for a Thunder Wave or something like that. Let's go into, um, the... Um, the, um, pe uh, Memo Uh, no, I think I went to Garchomp or Memo Song. Can't remember. Uh, I think I went to Garchomp. Yeah, I was like, hmm, let's go into the Garchomp and, like, uh, just take this Thunder Wave. I mean, Gar Garchomp and Sugarab is really, really scary, right? He goes for a Thunder Wave and, um, it doesn't affect us at all. Sorry, I didn't go into the Garchomp, I went to the Memo Song. This is embarrassing. Um, right, I can't remember this battle at all, guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, Memo Song for Sugarab is really good, too. Um, so we went for the rock side, predicting the uh, Clefty swapping out into the Charizard um, Y, but um, that would be too smart for him to do that. Um, he's not saying that, he still does um, a lot of damage um, without the stab, and uh, considering it's not a super effective damage. He's gonna go for the stab drink, drink kiss on uh, neutral damage, and it doesn't really do as much as the rock side did. Anyways, this time we're going to go for Earthquake, and it's just gonna wreck. Um, I don't think, definitely don't think it could matter. It's from a life orb, normal swan. With 31 IVs in attack and 31 IVs in speed, and at the nature, and EV training, attack and speed. Um, if you have watched my healthy PvP video uh, on Mamoswan, you might be confused um, whether or not uh, the uh, whether or not I have IVs, uh, 31 IVs in attack and speed. I um, when I trained the Garchomp, I actually bought too many Pokemon boosts. I'm actually uh, quite broke right now, and um, I actually spent um, I actually had two more in. So I plan, I plan on leaving once I uh, gave the IVs uh, to Garchom. But um, I actually got a tech and speed. I was like, screw it, let's just save and like, this is so good. Anyways, we're gonna go for Toxic Spikes. First time seeing Toxic Spikes in PvP. I think, actually, no, I think the first time was with uh, JP or something like that. Let's go for, go for Protect. I really don't like his Cloister set at all. It really makes no sense to me. Um, sure, it's unique. Um, it's really unique, but it's not good. I think what's here was yeah I checked the um, I said crash damage roll and I um it's actually as you can see it was 85 base power um so I really have no idea why he um he um he's he chose I said crash over I said spear because the scaling is definitely gonna hit five times and it's gonna do 195 damage whereas I said crash only does 85 damage so one uh 125 minus 85 is um let me count um I think it's 40 uh, yeah 40 that's 40 more damage. Anyways, I'm gonna go for the upgrade against um, Azumarill. I thought since um, I battle against Fire's X Infernos, um, Azumarill, my uh, my uh, member swans upgrade actually one shotted the Azumarill. This Azumarill was really tank uh, tanky. He just took that like a boss. Anyway, he's gonna go for superpower. I was like, hmm, no upper jet or, um, or um, waterfall. I was definitely going for the upper jet. Uh, I really don't like his sets at all, to be honest. Like. To be completely honest, these sets are just stupid. Uh, I'm serious, they are, Like, seriously, if you want to copy them, copy them right, alright? Don't, like, try to make them unique or anything, I mean... Toxic Spike, Toxic Spike is broken, as you can see. Um, we swapped in and it didn't poison us. That's because, um, in this game, in Project Pokemon, if you use Toxic Spikes on a Pokemon and it um, dies uh, or faints, as you um, most of you like to it, um, we are um, we actually uh, the Toxic Spike will disappear from battlefield. Anyways, we're gonna go for Dragon Claw, not risking the Rock Side miss, and that's gonna be enough to take out the Mega Charizard Y. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Project One One PP battle. Um, hope you guys actually did. Um, that's pretty good. Come if I mixed up members on you guys try my Anyways, um. Yeah, as I said, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.